Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. September 9th, Oswald Jeffrey Smith. At the age of 16, while attending an R.A. Tory conference, Oswald Smith became a Christian. About 14 years later, in 1928, he founded the People's Church in Toronto, and on September 9th of that year, Oswald preached his first service to an audience of 2,000. Oswald's life was marked by the power of a life that is centered on Christ. He served 80 years in the ministry, preached more than 12,000 sermons in 80 countries, and authored 35 books. His life didn't go the way he had planned, but that's okay. God had bigger plans. Here's his story. Sometimes hearing no could lead to an unexpected yes. Oswald Smith grew up in a small country town. A sickly boy, his parents and doctors questioned whether he could reach adulthood. He was absent from school on and off and eventually missed two entire years of school. But Oswald defeated the odds and at 16 went to Toronto to hear an evangelist preach. He listened to that preacher and his heart was caught. That day he knew what he wanted to be. And he didn't want to only be an evangelist, he wanted to be a missionary. He wanted to travel to places God wanted him to and tell anyone he could about the gospel. With his trip to Toronto stamped in his heart forever, he decided that was the place to be. So when he turned 18, he moved there and started attending evening classes at Toronto Bible College, his longing to be a missionary burning strong inside. Finally, when the doors opened, he applied for an appointment in the mission field through the church. On the precipice of his dream coming true, excitement brewing inside, he was told, no. He had been too weak and sick when he was a young boy, they said. He would never be suited for the mission field. Oswald struggled with the rejection and disappointment, but he wouldn't give up. If God had put this in his heart, God would be faithful to bring it to pass. Oswald took a job selling Bibles door to door for the Bible Society. It was a way to make money and allowed him to travel a bit, meet new people and talk to them about God and his word. He was so good at selling Bibles that the Bible Society sent him to Vancouver, some 30 miles away. As he made his way up the coast, he began making contacts with a variety of people and local pastors. Sometimes he would make a call to a lumber camp or to a home in the middle of nowhere. All the while, he spoke to these people about God, his word, and the truth written there. Traveling farther and farther through the country, he wound up near the native people. He preached to them and sold them Bibles. It was there that a Methodist missionary noticed Oswald and asked if he would be willing to stay through the winter as his associate and minister to the Indians. Oswald said, yes. It wasn't the way he thought it would go. He had thought he would sign up at the church and take an assignment in the mission field and in an orderly fashion, off he would go. But no, God took him a different route, a longer route, an out of the way route, but the destination was the same. Psalm 37, 23 says, the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. What disappointments are you dealing with? Sometimes hearing no could lead to an unexpected yes. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.